Today, we are setting up pass keys with a hardware key. Now that I have posted several different videos explaining what pass keys are and how they work, it's time to show you how you can set them up. Now, if this is your first time hearing about pass keys, which will be the future of logging in, then I highly recommend that you check out my playlist. It's short, it's only a few episodes long, but that playlist explains what they are, how they work, it compares the pros and cons to passwords and two-factor authentication, and I also answered all of the most common questions about them. Now this video is sponsored and in partnership with Yubico, and I am so glad I get to work with them on this series because not only have I used their hardware keys for years for two-factor authentication, but I can also use the same exact key for my pass key setup. Now if you don't own any hardware keys yet, but you want to upgrade your security with either multi-factor authentication or pass keys or both, then stick around for my special coupon code, which will give you a discount off any of the keys shown in this video and many more on their site. Now sites are continuously adding pass key support, which is awesome. So if you are curious if the site you use supports them, you can either go to the site in question and check your security settings, or you can visit passkeys.directory to see which sites currently support them. Now, I don't know how often this site is updated, but I did see some added in August of 2023, just weeks before I recorded this video. Today, we will set up a pass key on eBay and then Google. Again, remember that this is a relatively new feature for consumer account protection online. So right now, finding a site that uses pass keys is going to be a little hit or miss. Some sites do say they support pass keys, but the implementation is a little bit glitchy. So for those sites, I would recommend setting up two-factor authentication instead. I will show you how to set up a hardware-bound pass key with my YubiKey, and then I will show you how to set up a passkey that is bound to your phone. So first off, let's go over to ebay.com. Go over to the account settings, then choose sign in and security. Find the section near the bottom that says security key sign in. And from the setting, choose turn on, then go through the on-screen directions to enable that pass key, and you will see a few different screens that you have to read. In this case, I am on a Windows machine, so a prompt will pop up asking me if I wanna use Windows Hello or a security key or some other options. I am going to click security key, click OK twice, and then plug in my YubiKey into my computer. Now, if I have never set up a pin for this YubiKey, then it will ask me to create one. And this is something that you will remember every time you have to plug in that YubiKey and use it as a passkey. Now, once created or entered, you touch the gold part, which is a capacitive touch on the YubiKey to verify that you actually have it in hand, and then the site will register the key. Now, when you sign in, you can use the YubiKey instead of a password to sign into your account. So you may be wondering what's up with that pin. So that pin is delegated to that specific hardware key, not the website. So whenever you plug in the YubiKey to authenticate on a site, the YubiKey will need to be unlocked with your pin. Then you can tap it to tell the website that you actually have that key in hand. In the case of eBay, the site will still have a password registered in the event that you need to sign in on a device that doesn't support pass keys. So make sure your account still uses a strong password and two-factor authentication. So so I'm gonna show you how I sign in. So first I go to ebay.com, I choose sign in. Since I already use a password manager, you will see a password autofill right there, but we're gonna click sign in with a security key and it will ask for that pin that I set up. So I input that pin, I click on my YubiKey, I touch the little gold pads, and then I am signed in. Now, as I mentioned before, my viewers have access to a very sweet deal through Yubico, so you can use it as a pass key, which will get you $5 off the purchase of any series Series 5 YubiKeys with the coupon code Shannon Morse, all one word at checkout. That can save you some money and you will be buying a product that not only can be used as a pass key, but also as a multi-factor authentication device for tons of different websites. That's code Shannon Morse for $5 off and you can use the link down below to snag one or two if you want to back up right now. Thank you so much to Yubico for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and move on to Google. Google has implemented support for both hardware keys as well as smartphone pass keys. This means that you can either use a YubiKey or your smartphone to authenticate whenever you sign in to a new machine. So to set up your smartphone to work as a pass key, you'll just need to go to G 
t.co slash passkeys on a supported device. And that can be a laptop or a desktop that runs Windows 10, Mac OS Ventura, or Chrome OS 109, a mobile device that runs at least iOS 16 or Android 9, a hardware security key that supports the FIDO2 protocol, like a YubiKey. And if you've been using your Google account for a while, you may already notice that Google has already created a passkey for a device that you own. You can manage those devices by clicking on manage devices and removing any that no longer need to be registered. Google will remind you up at the top to only create passkeys on devices that you own. If you don't want somebody signing into your account on a shared device, then don't make that shared device a passkey. So to enable the use of passkeys, first thing we need to do is click on use passkeys. A little prompt will be displayed saying that you can now use your passkeys to sign in. That's cool. Way down at the bottom, you're gonna have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. If you have already set up any hardware keys on this account, you will see them listed there. Below that is a button that says create a passkey. Now click on that button. If your machine is not supported, you will see a prompt that says that you can't create a passkey on that device. If your device is supported, then you can then follow those on-screen prompts to create a passkey with your hardware key. Now, at this point in time, several users have reported having issues with this option, which seems to be a problem with Google, and myself included. Google was having problems letting me sign in when I tried to create a passkey. So we are going to use the smartphone passkey for my account. Now, if you sign into your account, account on a supported smartphone, then Google will automatically make that smartphone a passkey for your account. So under your account settings, go to security, then choose passkey. If it asks you to sign in, go ahead and sign into that passkeys page. And this is where you can manage those passkeys as needed. So now I'm going to try and sign in on my Windows PC. So I'm going to input my email. Then instead of asking me to put in a password, it says use your passkey to confirm it's really you. All right. Cool. So click continue and on a supported desktop, you will see a pop-up that says use your passkey. Then you can choose the device that has the passkey for google.com. So in my case, it's a few options down because I have, a, I have a lot of phones. So I click on the device and it says check your device. So now pick up your phone. You're going to need to use your smartphone for this bit. So go back over to your smartphone and you will see this new notification that pops up saying verify your identity. Your computer wants to use this device to sign into a site. Click it then click allow and it will say connecting to your device. So you want to physically place your phone really close to your computer and then it will pop up a fingerprint prompt or a face ID scan where you will authenticate your biometrics on your phone and the prompt will then go away. So back over on my computer, when it sees that handshake from my phone, whenever I put in my biometrics, it automatically signs in. So when I'm talking through the process, it kind of looks like a lot, but let's do it again without the walkthrough. Okay, so watch what I do here. So so first I enter my email, so email is entered, click continue, choose my device. On my phone, I click on the pop-up prompt, hold it near my computer, scan my finger, and my Windows browser is signed in. So that whole process took about 10 seconds or so. Some sites like PayPal have enabled passkey support, but only for smartphones. Now these passkeys only work on iOS or Android devices and either through Safari or Chrome. So to set up a passkey on my Chrome browser, I first go to paypal.com in Chrome on my phone, and then I sign in with my normal email and password. Then I click the three lines, the little hamburger icon, and I click the gear for settings and security. Choose passkeys and this will open up a prompt asking if you want to create a passkey. Now this is going to use the same biometrics you use to unlock your phone, like your face ID or your fingerprint, for example. You'll notice that my PayPal app is set up so screen recording is not allowed in the app, so I apologize. Sorry for the handheld shaky cam here. To sign into your PayPal app, just choose sign in with fingerprint, and this will use your smartphone passkey to sign you in, and it takes mere seconds. Many sites still don't accept passkeys either in smartphone or hardware key form, so in those cases, I'm opting to use the same YubiKey, the same little hardware key, for multi-factor authentication. In the event that sites also don't support hardware keys at all for MFA, I will fall back to an authentication app found on my phone. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I weirdly get super excited whenever I'm able to stream in my online security and I feel so productive whenever I make these changes to my own accounts. I feel like I just completed some kind of Korok puzzle in Zelda and I got a little Korok seed. I have a Korok seed. <laughs> it's right here. I just upgraded my security. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah. Okay, enough of that. Pat yourself on the back because hearing about upgraded security and actually taking action and making those changes, that's an accomplishment. If you have questions about pass keys, you can leave them down below and subscribe because I have security content coming up every single month. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.